Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, January 3rd, 2017. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you had a great holiday season. So looking forward to the year ahead. I think it's going to be a great one. So with that, let's get into today's video. Just want to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. And so we always start our videos off with a look at the Russell Index. We use the Russell as our proxy for the markets overall. Uh, as long as the Russell is moving higher and up and over the 8-day EMA on the daily chart, we are putting new charts forward. As soon as it falls below, we stop and take a pause. We can review old charts, but we're not going to put any new charts forward. So let's get into the Russell now. Uh, we're looking at the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And we step back to take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. I really like that broader context. Uh, as regular viewers well know, we were keeping an eye on this blue channel that the Russell traded within through all of 2014, had this little lift up and out in early 15, hit this light blue shaded line and then sold off. But price strength came right back in and look where we are right here right now. So we're up and over this light blue shaded line, which is now new support. The candle for the month of November was a bullish candle with volume, pushed us through that light blue shaded line. Oh, sorry about that. Um, and the candle for the month of December is now complete. Uh, a little bit of indecision in the candle for the month of December with a wick at the top and a small wick at the bottom. And we have this more minor area of support drawn in here on the daily chart. So we'll, we'll zoom in and take a look at that now. But just for perspective, really important to see that we're up and over this shaded light blue line. So let's move it away from the five-year monthly to the one-year weekly. There's that area of support, that orange line that we have drawn in. This is our long-term light blue line that goes back all the way. Um, so you can see where we are right here right now, trading in a little bit of a wedge pattern on the weekly chart. I'm filming this at about uh, 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning. The futures are higher pretty significantly, so it looks as though the Russell will try to break out of this wedge. I'm going to move it away from the weekly to the six-month daily, there's the wedge, there's our area of support, but because this morning as I'm filming, the Russell is trading below the 8-day EMA, this blue line is the 8-day EMA, and we use this one as our guide and we say, look, as long as the Russell is trading up and over, price, the candles are up and over the blue line, we're putting new charts forward, but it's currently not, so we're going to take a pause and we're not going to put any new charts forward. Having said that, um, Again, the futures are looking to start off the morning in a strong manner. So on Thursday, when we put our video out on Thursday, hopefully we'll have some lift here and we'll put some new charts forward. I've got a couple in the wings that I think look awesome. Um, but uh, with, with the Russell trading below that 8-day EMA, I'm just going to point you to a couple of old Chart of the Day Cafe picks that might look interesting to you here. So although we will not be putting any new charts forward this morning because the price on the Russell is below the 8-day EMA, um, the futures are looking strong. Should the day remain strong, here are three past picks that I think look interesting here. The first one is OpenText, O-T-E-X. It's interlisted on the Canadian and U.S. side. We're looking at it on the U.S. side. Check the scores on all three of these this morning. They are still where we need them at Chart of the Day Cafe meaning they have high value and growth scores today. So you can see that open text, we put it forward on December 20th. It's just kind of taking its time, but it looks to be breaking out of our little wedge pattern. Should we have a strong next couple of days, I think open text looks interesting here. It also pays a dividend. And again, it is dual listed on the Canadian and US side. We're looking at it on the US. The second one is STMP, stamps.com. We put that forward um, on December 6th. It broke out of our wedge. Again, it's just kind of doing its thing. 
but it's trading up and over that eight day EMA and it had a nice looking candle on the last trading day of the year. So should markets remain strong, STMP looks interesting here as well. This one does not pay a dividend, but again, the scores checked this morning are still high. And the third one is INVA. Innovia, it's in the healthcare sector. Um, we put it forward on December 8th, this little green circle. It had a little lift, but it's come in to retest that area of support. I like the way it traded on that last trading day of the year. Should the markets remain strong, Innovia looks interesting here as well. Um, this is the one that has that really high dividend yield, so you might want to take a look at that video again if you're interested in this one. Um, two things that I think are worth keeping an eye on, at least I'll be keeping an eye on them here. Uh, the first one, we're going to look at some ETFs, is XLY, Consumer Discretionary. I want to show you why I'm keeping an eye on it. Um, it's at this area of support. Let me draw in my lines. And needs to lift here. So trading in this wedge pattern. And I would, you know, at this point in the in the year after Christmas and that strong retail season, I think the market will be interested, at least I will be interested to see how consumer discretionary does. So we're looking at it on the weekly, trading in this wedge. Let's pull it into the daily. So you can see that it's at this area of support. I wanna see how consumer discretionary behaves here. I think this is one to keep an eye on. And the other one is um, UUP, the dollar. So I'll pull it back into the longer term time frame. The dollar, US dollar has been really, really strong. We're looking at the two year weekly. You can see that I've got this more minor area of support drawn in, but we had a doji a couple of weeks ago um, and then a little bit of indecision in the last week. So I wanna see how the US dollar behaves here. I think that's gonna be an, an important one to watch. I'm gonna move it away from the uh, weekly to the daily. We had a little bit of a hammer on the last trading day of the year, so I want to see how the US dollar behaves in this area. I think that's going to be important. A reminder I just wanted to say, if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button on the home page. Also remember to check our discussion section as our picks move up and off our areas of support and get those three and eight crosses, I will endeavor to post them in this discussion section at the end of the day. So this is worth checking out. And I've got a couple of really fresh ideas for the year ahead. Very excited. Wanted to thank you again for watching my videos and looking forward to a great year ahead. Thanks everybody and have a great day.